search continues for a missing Hanover woman. A search is on the way for a 27-year-old Shalene Evans who went missing on Christmas morning in Orchard, Hopel, Hanover. Evans, otherwise called Chin, was reported the last seen running from the Orchard Gardens home for a child's father. The police report that she went missing around 6 a.m. on Saturday and since then, some 100 concerned residents from both Evans's community as well as Orchard Gardens assisted by cops from Lucy and Sandy Bay have been searching for her. Police dogs were brought in to help with the search. It was reported that the university student has been acting in a strange manner for weeks. It is also reported that on Christmas Eve, December 24th, she threatened to jump from the roof of her parents' home in Clifton, Hanover, but was dissuaded. Family members said that Evans suffers from depression and was last seen running into nearby bushes when she left the house of her child's father on Saturday. Farmer missing in St. James. 57-year-old Ara Lee, a farmer and a taxi driver, has been missing since Friday, December 10. Lee is of a bottom Cambridge Ducket Road address in St. James. He is of medium build, black complexion and about 183 centimeters or 6 feet tall. Reports from the Cambridge Police are that about 10 a.m., Lee was last seen along Cambridge Main Road wearing a brown shirt. He has not been heard from since. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Harold Lee is being asked to contact the Cambridge Police at 876-912-2266, the Police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station. Two people died in Black River House Fire. Two people died Christmas morning in a house fire in Newtown, Black River, St. Elizabeth. They have been identified as 77-year-old Monica Brown and 61-year-old Leroy Stewart. It is reported that the two were asleep at their house sometime after 5 o'clock when fire was seen coming from the building. Residents tried unsuccessfully to rescue them from the burning structure. A unit from the Black River Fire Brigade responded to the blaze. Their remains were found during cooling down operations. A relative of the woman who died in the fire believes the fire may have started from candles in the house. Nine left homeless following fire in Manchester. A fire in Silent Hill, Coleville, Manchester on Saturday left nine people homeless. Deputy Superintendent at the Mandel Fire Station, Rohan Powell, indicated that the fire department received a call about 9.25 p.m. and a team was dispatched. Powell said upon arrival, it was discovered that the five-bedroom house was engulfed in flames. We were able to contain the fire to a point and cool down what was already damaged. Powell said that due to the extent of the damage, firefighters were unable to ascertain the cause of the fire. He said the estimated loss from the fire is approximately $12 million. It is so sad. They lost everything. To have this experience in this time is so hard, remarked a resident from an adjoining community. Four women among five shot in Old Folly, St. Anne. Two people are dead and three people are nursing gunshot wounds following a shooting in Discovery Bay, St. Anne this morning. Dead are 23-year-old Tamara Kelly from Old Folly and 21-year-old Roger Linton from Granville in Trelawney. A 33-year-old woman from California in the United States is among those nursing gunshot wounds. Reports are that shortly after midnight, a group of people were in Old Folly in Discovery Bay when they were approached by unknown assailants. The gunmen opened fire, hitting five people. They were all taken to the hospital where Kelly and Linton were pronounced dead. The St. Anne police are investigating the incident. One-year-old girl shot while a man was killed during a gun attack on Hanover Street. A one-year-old girl was shot and injured while a man was killed at a premises on Hanover Street in Kingston on Monday morning. The deceased has been identified as 22-year-old Anthony Campbell, otherwise called Antsman, a laborer of Hanover Street. Police informed that the toddler is hospitalized in stable condition at this time. Reports from the Kingston Central Police are that about 1.30 a.m., residents heard explosions and alerted them. On their arrival, the lawmen found Campbell lying on a bed inside his house with gunshot wounds, while the baby was found suffering from multiple bullet wounds. Both injured persons were assisted to the hospital where Campbell was pronounced dead and the child admitted. Investigations are ongoing. Two gunned down in separate incidents in Spanish Town. Two men were killed in separate incidents in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, on Sunday. In the first incident, 30 year old laborer Rashid Myers, otherwise called Magaman, was shot and killed by unknown assailants. 
It is reported that Myers was walking in his Lake Spend community about 11.55 a.m. when he was shot multiple times. His attackers then fled. In the second incident, explosions were heard in the neighboring community of Quarry Hill. The body of a man was discovered lying in a pool of blood near a car. He had multiple gunshot wounds. Dancehall icon Beaniman has reportedly been detained by national security in Ghana for allegedly floating COVID-19 protocols. Reports in the Ghanaian media are that the DJ tested positive for COVID-19 on arrival in Ghana last week and was placed in quarantine. However, the veteran entertainer allegedly floated those measures and conducted several interviews and performed at a stage show with several other acts. It is alleged that the entertainer was detained by national security when he attempted to board a flight to leave Ghana. It is also reported that Beaniman provided a fake vaccination certificate when detained by the police. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!